Hello and welcome to your weekly weather wrap from the Bureau of Meteorology for Sunday the 8th of April. With the remnants of extropical cyclone Iris now out to sea, Queenslanders are in for a quieter period. After heavy rainfall in early March, flooding has mostly eased through the Gulf Country and floodwaters from western Queensland are now approaching the South Australian border. Moderate flooding is likely at the Diamantina River near Birdsville from today, the highest levels here since the 2011 floods. And floodwaters are starting to enter Goiters Lagoon in far northeast and south Australia. It will take a few more weeks for this water to reach Lake Eyre, but flow is not expected to be sufficient to fill the lake. Over northern Australia, shower and thunderstorm activity will remain fairly isolated this week. The focus instead turns to southern Australia, with extraordinary April heat building in the southeast. This low pressure system will bring a few showers and milder conditions to Tasmanians today, but most of southern Australia will see temperatures well above the April average, as a high pressure system directs hot and dry air southward. On Monday, a cold front will bring a few showers and cooler conditions to southwest WA, but the front will quickly slip to the south as heat continues to build further east. The heat will peak through the southeast on Tuesday, and many inland locations could see April temperature records tumble. A trough will bring milder conditions in a shower or two to southern coastlines during Wednesday, but inland parts will remain hot and dry. Renmark, Hay and Mildura could all record four consecutive days of temperatures exceeding 35 degrees. Fire conditions will also be elevated through this period in parts of southeastern and South Australia, and western Victoria could reach severe levels. Temperatures should ease from Thursday with some isolated showers over the southeast. And finally, a stronger cold front may move across the southeast as we head towards the weekend. So that's it for today's weather wrap. Official forecasts are updated twice daily, and we'll see you again next Sunday.